So hello guys welcome back to the channel in this video we'll cover another amazing lab that is accessing the cloud console and cloud shell. So first of all click on start lab and if you are new to this channel like the video and subscribe the channel. Now the next step is we have to open the cloud console in incognito window. Now here in my case it is getting signed in automatically. Sometimes you may be asked to enter the username and password for that. Let me show you here is the details you can use it. Now here you have to just click on I understand and if it asks for agree and continue just click on that and now after that we will be activating the cloud shell. Just click on it and just activate the cloud shell. You have to just click on this button. It will activate the cloud shell and here just click on continue and just authorize yourself. Don't worry I will show you step by step method so that you can complete with ease. Now click on continue. Now just click on authorize and wait for the cloud shell to get active so finally the cloud shell is now active now in the let me update the font size yes now it's visible now in the description box of this video i have shared this repository we will be using this only now first of all authorize the project id and list the project id now you need to open your personal notepad or any online notepad because we have to export some values just paste over here and first thing is that we have to export the username so for that you can see the lab panel let me show you what we have to export here we have to export the region and zone also so let's start with the username then region the region will be different for you so choose accordingly as per lab instruction same with the zone also and the most important thing is bucket name many of you may make mistakes so from here just copy the project id for second bucket id you have to just add a dash and two don't make any other changes you can just use dash 2 it will be easier for you otherwise you may face error if you use random names now hit enter now go to the github repo and just execute the first one task 1 and hit enter now wait for this to complete and then we will move forward to the next step resources have been done now we have to open the service account so on the search box type service account and just click on this so basically here we have to create a credentials key so just minimize the cloud shell because we don't need now first of all remove this unwanted pop-up and from here test service account as you can see you have to just click on these three dots and just click on manage keys now a new page will open and here we have to just create a credentials file so for that what you need to do wait a minute click on this add key and just create new key and just create it now it will download a file to your local system so you have to just modify the file you have to just write credentials.json credentials.json just copy from here like this just save it now we will be uploading this file on the next step so just maximize the cloud shell and from here click on three dots upload and choose the file which we have just now downloaded so just open it it has been uploaded as you can see just click on upload it would take few seconds to upload finally the file has been uploaded now you have to go back to the github repo and just run the second one you have to run the second one basically task 2 now hit enter now wait for some time Now from here what you need to do you have to just run the third task also. So just copy it carefully and paste over here and now wait for some time again. Basically here we have to copy the public URL of the image file. So wait for it. Also do one thing just open a new tab here because we have to just copy the file URL here. So wait for it just. So now it's done. Now in the search box, you have to open the bucket. So minimize the cloud shell. Just type cloud storage and just select the buckets one. Now it will load. It will take some time, so wait for it. From here, you have to just select the first bucket. Make sure to select the first bucket. Close this unwanted pop up. Click on the first bucket. From here, toggle this. 
now as you can see the cat.jpg file here public access copy the url paste on your notepad or just the new tab if you have opened now maximize the now first of all here just type vm instance and select this vm instance because we will be using this only and a lot of you guys were facing issues on connecting the ssh on vm so here i will tell you another methods also how you can do it so let's do together now here what you need to do is just clear if you want to just clean cloud shell now here what you need to do we have to just clone the repository and you could make a directory so just click on this the repository has been cloned now just make a test directory so now open the editor so now from here you have to just click on the file and open folders just select the student and from here you can see the directory which we have just created basically the folder and now it will refresh the cloud shell editor and open it so wait for a few more seconds and here the file is cleanup.sh you can see here we have to modify this file and add one index.html file so go to the lab and from here just copy this number 8 echo finished cleanup so paste over here and save it now here what you need to do you have to just see here click here basically and copy the name of the file index.html so just click here paste the name the index.html file opens here now just paste over here now the cat url basically the image url which we have just copied from the bucket one have to replace the content from there to here and just save it like this so we have saved it like this now open the terminal now what you have to do we have to install this in our vm so a lot of you guys are facing issues on this vm so i will click on this ssh the error which you may get so in my case i am not getting any error let me show you so i have also attached a image what kind of error which you might get so here as you can see i did not get any error but some of you are getting sss failed issue so no need to worry just click over here and just open the glee cloud basically the g cloud command and hit enter so by this method you can easily complete this lab so just hit enter and type y and then hit enter again now here wait for a few more seconds the ssh will be live here now what you need to do you have to if you want you can open a new tab but that's not required currently so here you have to just install this first of all install this on your vm that is the vm1 so just wait and if it asks for enter y and then hit enter just type y and hit enter again just type y and hit enter and wait for a few more seconds so finally it's done now what we have to do just exit the ssh session from here and just run over here now you'll get one error why did i get this error i will tell you what we have done we have done one mistake here so what you need to do you have to change the directory because we have modified this file here we have to just update be in this now directory from here only. just change the directory just paste over here and now you will get the score no need to worry about it from the task for 90 number just copy here and just paste over the cloud shell that will take some time basically 20 to 30 seconds and after that it will show like this now we have to initiate the vm session that is the lab one vm the number 20 of task 4 just first of all open this in again cloud shell just follow the way i'm doing and just hit enter now the cloud shell session will be live if you ask to enter y and then hit enter just like we did in previous step just do it like this and paste this cp command so basically we have installed and customized the welcome web page and when you hit check my progress will definitely get full score without any issue and if you face any issue do let me in the comments thank you guys do check the playlist and lab do subscribe the channel